Hello, I'm Bradley, and tonight I'll be talking about the U.S. military overhaul. <coughs> the United States military has been the world's strongest power since around the turn of the, cent turn of the 20th century. It's, because this, it's this way because the United States military strive for technological superiority and tactical excellence. But now, the United States Defense Secretary, Robert Gates, is proposing an overhaul of the U.S. military. This military overhaul would divert funding and cancel or postpone research and development programs. My main claim is that this overhaul of the United States military will cause, a fall, cause it to fall from its global dominance. My first point is the military overhaul will cause a fall in the United States global dominance because the overhaul will cancel or postpone technological research and development projects that are vital to continue military superiority. The projects that are affected by the overhaul will lower future air superiority, ground superiority, and sea superiority. Future air superiority that will be affected by the overhaul will be because the overhaul will cancel production of a new supersonic stealth, stealth fighter jet, the F-22 Raptor, even after $18.6 billion in research. The Development Secretary, or the Defense Secretary, would also like to end the Air Force <coughs> Combat Search and Rescue Helicopter Program. The future control of the seas will also be affected. Defense Secretary Robert Gates also plans to postpone the next generation of cruisers, amphibious landing crafts, and slowing the production of new, new aircraft carriers. The overhaul will also have a large effect on ground superiority. The overhaul calls for canceling of the production of the C-17 transport plane, the new development of new armored vehicles, and the restructuring of Ar the Army's future combat systems programs. These are just some of the programs that would be affected by the overhaul and lessen the United States' dominance. My second point is that the overhaul will divert funds to pro programs to fight insurgency. This will add to the fall of dominance because it's too late to bolster the fight against insurgency in Iraq and Afghanistan due to the United States extraction timetable from the Middle East. My final point is that the overhaul will reduce the lead in mil military technology the United States has over the rest of the world. The overhaul calls for the postponement or canceling of many research and development projects, like I talked about before. This, in combination with the rapid pace in foreign development programs in, in countries such as China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea, which are growing at a rapid pace. This military overhaul of the United States that has been proposed by the Defense Secretary Robert Gates will cancel and postpone projects for vital to the U.S. continued superiority divert funds to war that we will soon not be involved in, and allowing other nations to catch up technologically is, are the reasons why the United States military overhaul, overhaul will cause the fall in its global dominance. Thank you. All right, Bradley, from an organizational point of view, everything's pretty solid except for the preview. You've got a very clear statement of what the proposition is. Uh, you signpost those supporting points uh, as you're going through them. At the end, you've got a good summary. There's not, like I said, really much of a preview. The problem that I have with the speech is that that's pretty much what it is. It's a preview of what the argument is. I'm waiting for the meat on this skeleton here. You talk about that first uh, point, all the programs that are being canceled. Where's the stuff that says we need these programs? Where's the information that shows without them there will be a, a problem? You've made a presupposition that uh, we would lack superiority uh, without a stealth fighter, for instance, of the next generation. Why? You know, who are we fighting that we need the stealth fighter with? Uh, how does it manage to discourage other people from developing those kinds of things? Later on, on another point, you talk about how these other countries, you mentioned four specifically, are rapidly expanding their military uh, power. I don't get a source citation on this. I don't know how they're expanding their power. Is it uh, conventional or technological? If it's technological, are they challenging us? Or are they at a point where any of this is going to be challenging to us? 
I don't get any analysis or data on that point either. I can tell what your argument is here. I just can't see that it is, you know, substantiated. And that you you've got just enough information to explain the issue and tell us why we should be worried without showing us what reasons there are to worry. And I, I, it just seems like it's only you've got half of the speech here. You know, uh, you've got the organizational stuff and the clarity of the stuff, but the supporting information is, uh, is what's missing, and I think that that's uh, the problem here. All right, thank you.